All right, I'm back at the dam again, and I brought chicken with me. And I've only got one rod and reel and one hook. Actually, I got more hooks in storage, but I'm gonna try this with the hook on the main line with some chicken, and I'm just gonna free line it. This is pretty much the easiest way to catch a catfish if they're here and if they're biting. Now what's fun this time is they've got multiple generators going and now they're also letting water out of the lock. So this is gonna get um, hairy pretty quick. So I'm just gonna get a piece out there and try to beat the wave. too there's another big boat about to go through it fun times all right got another piece to put out Now that the washing machine is over, I'm going to try drifting over here and just bring it around the dam into the current and then go down the current all the way probably to the barge pilings that are half a mile down the, the river. There we go. <laughs> They're about to let out water again. Alarm went off. I wasn't recording, but hey. <laughs> Not skunked. Little channel cat, I think. I watch other boats in the area. There we go. Nice little channel cat. <laughs> Easiest way to catch eater size fish. Although I wouldn't eat them out of this water. I gotta keep my bait.
Oh. <laughs> Keep missing him. And he took my bait. I wonder if I can spot lock right here. Probably not. All right, this has been a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. And I'm guessing the catfish are just not here, maybe. I don't know. It's definitely not as easy as below Chickamauga Dam can be sometimes. I will admit, Joe with Chat Cats Fishing, he fishes like this. And he has incredible luck. There we go. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. And a blue cat. All right. Now with chicken, this is the size of fish I expect to catch. Just the eater size ones. But every now and then you can get a big 50 pounder. And I put an iCard above to a 50 pounder that me, Joe with Chat Cats Fishing and Realistic Fishing fought for like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. It took all three of us to get that fish to the boat. And I think that was on chicken too, if I remember right. That was a really good fish. But this, it's a nice looking fish too. Very healthy. Grow up. What started out as a rough evening is getting better. That's kind of good. My spot lock's holding me in place in this really fast current. And that's only an 80 pound trolling motor. It is going up to setting nine and a half though. So I wouldn't want to do this like all day long. Sun's going down and I don't have my lights, so I don't have much time to uh, continue to fish. I do need to get my lights out though. It's actually warmed up the past couple of days. I wonder if that's impacted the bite a little bit. The water is still somewhat cold at 66 degrees. Now there is a bridge here that some of you might know about and I've drifted past it a couple of times and got no bites down there. All my bites have been up here towards the dam so I think I'm going to go ahead and pull up the trolling motor, run back up to the dam and float down. This may be the last float too.
Now that's something I won't do is get on top of the boils like those guys. But I will start on the outside and come down the seam. Okay, last drift. Let's make it a good one. think I will try one more drift attempt. It might get too dark to film, but maybe I can catch a fish. A third fish you guys might not be able to see. And that's okay. At least I hope it's okay with you guys. Alright, call this the last drift. See, they got the lights on at the dam now. It's getting dark enough. Oh! And he took my bait. <laughs> Maybe I'm putting too much chicken on it. Oh! Or that was a gar. Or rock. Rock with a bunch of uh, zebra mussels on it. <laughs> That's why I probably should have had a monofilament leader on this because there are a lot of zebra mussels in here. So that fish got the bait, wrapped me around a rock real quick that had zebra mussels on it and it cut my line. I'm kicking myself for that one. Oh boy, I'm gonna be letting out water again making this a washing machine. So I think on that note, I am going to call it. Caught two fish. And uh, learn the lesson that I already know. Use monofilament when you're around zebra mussels. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope maybe you've learned something. This is an easy way to catch catfish if you can keep your boat under control and don't have to worry about a washing machine of a dam like Fort Loudon Dam is. There's been a lot of boats going through the lock today. I do want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. And for a future video, I think I'm going to be doing some bank fishing to see if I can get a bigger catfish from the bank at one of the spots where I have done so before in the past. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys next time.